Hello, and in this episode of Drawing the Meerkat, we're going to progress through and get to the finish stage. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do today is put the whiskers in, which run through the ear just here. They're quite fine. The dart is ideal for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and engrave those in. Okay, so that's those engraved in. Now, what I'm gonna do now is to start to put some of the texture in. So I'm just putting the texture in around the ear at this point. Now, this doesn't matter if I go over these little whiskers that I put in, because I'm just gonna just reestablish them again in a minute. So we have very short tangled strokes down on this part of the ear. So I'm just going to go back into the grooves that I put in with the dart and just go through them again. And then these will just re-establish the lines that I put in running through the ear. Now with the 2B pencil, I can start to apply some tone. So as you can see, we've now got a nice, fine few whiskers which run through the ear itself. So I'm just dabbing the pencil just to give a bit of texture. And you can see that gives a nice rough look to it. Now a bit harder on the edge just here. And then what I'm gonna do is then I'll finish that later because remember last week I said we're gonna put a gray background into this. So I'll finish those when I do that. Now I just wanna make this whisker here look like it's behind this one. So that's why I'm just working a bit of tone a bit more into this area and that just recesses it back just a little bit. So a little bit more tone in this bit just to build a bit more depth. And now just here, just flick out with the 2B into the fur. And then just putting a bit more texture up through here. And again, going back to the 2B. Just 
Just put a little bit more contrast into this part. And now just using the putty rubber just to highlight just a little bit. So again, rolling that point and just using it just to brush tone away. Now I'm also going to run the whiskers just through here as well. So I just take that out with the putty rubber. And again with the dart, find the mark and just run it through. Again, just going to take a little bit out. A bit more tone into that. And under here. And then with the putty rubber, just going to just highlight this part of the ear just a little bit more. Just on that part just there. Now the little whiskers on the face, they're really quite simple. It's just literally just a, a few little marks with the dart. As you can see, I'm just brushing a little bit of tone over it. And you can see they just stand out. Now I've got no texture on here yet. And that's what I'll add next. Now because this goes down into the course of fur. I again can use the dart. To put the texture on. And the good thing with the dart is even if I run over any of these lines. Unlike with the 9H pencil where it will take graphite that's on the paper and pull it, the dart won't. So the dart won't actually alter how these look at all. Because the dart is metal, basically what happens is it will just slide over the graphite. It won't actually pick it up and carry it. And then I can just dab a little bit more tone in. Just to bring out quite a subtle little texture. So I continue to build texture up into here. Now, because this is quite dark through this section, what I'm going to do is just use the putty rubber now, just to just put a little bit of a lighter tone in, and it will pull some of the surface graphite off that I've just put in. But what I've just worked over with the dart has been engraved into the paper, so that will stay there. So you can see it just lightens it off just a tiny bit. And it actually, if anything, makes those whiskers just stand out just a little bit more for this. And then into here, it just adds a little bit more shape. So the thing I'm going to do now is now progress down into the rest of the body, which is the same texture as we did a couple of weeks ago 
and also as well what we were doing more on here they're longer strokes they're really tangled and we can get a, a real nice texture into that And now continue to work down the picture, engraving the texture with the dart, then going back over it with the 2B pencil. Uh, I might use the blender putty rubber and you can start to work quite nicely over the whole picture. Now, always look for the direction the fur takes uh, and also how tangled it is and then just try to replicate that. If you find that the part of the picture that you're working on doesn't look right, then just leave it and go to a different part and then eventually come back to it when you're more confident with what you're doing. Also as well, sometimes things can look wrong. If you put it out of sight for a couple of days and then look at it again, you can really see what you do need to change. I usually find that it's a good idea when, whenever I finish a picture to put it out of sight for a few days, then look at it and then make any alterations that I need to. Sometimes to not look at something is a good way to do it because you then look at it with a completely fresh set of eyes and look at it as a whole picture, not just the last part that you were working on. Remember, when using the 9B pencil, always use the 2B over the top just to finish it. It does give a slightly smoother uh, look to it. The 9B is a great pencil, it's really stable, it adheres into the paper well, but it does need a little bit of finishing to it. It's worth the extra little bit of contrast it gives you, and it, it just gives that picture just a, a little bit more punch. Now, I'm using the Caran d'Ache Graphwood range of pencils, so you may find if you're using something different, you might have to just play around to see what works right for you. Uh, as usual, I'll put a link in the description below to the materials that I use. So now we need to work on the background. And as you can see, I've just done a little bit just here and here, just to put some of this in. Now, first thing I need to do is to make the border a bit more permanent. So what I'm gonna do is just engrave the borderline. And I'm gonna use the 4H for this. Now, I've already done these two. Now take your time when doing this and be very careful because you don't want to slip. And basically by making the border permanent, because we're doing the gray background, it gives us a hard edge. So it just makes it a little bit easier. So the next stage is to put the fur in along the edge here. But what I want to do first of all is just take the putty rubber and just go along the edge and just take out any excess tone from the outline that we did originally. Then with a the dart, I can just start to draw the texture in. So on this bit, I just want to just bring this out a bit more. Now what I'm doing is I'm going from, say for example, here, sweeping around to this point now this point here equally from there i'll do the same and that way it gives a slightly clumped look on the edge you don't want it again to look like it's all going the same direction the same length it wants to be nice and random and i just continue along like this and this will give a nice rough edge to it so i now take the 2b pencil and I just very, very lightly just brush tone back in towards the body. 
So I'm not pressing very hard at all. I'm just letting it just brush across the surface of the paper. And as you can see, these marks now start to come out. So I continue this and just build up a nice depth of tone. So as you can see, I'm continuing with the putty rubber, just pull out some of the edge on here. Now, always remember to look for the direction that the fur takes. So up here, it's just very, very short strokes. And I can just work my way down. There's a couple of little bits, just a little bit longer here. But remember, always be random with it. Very light with the 2B, just literally just brushing the tone on the surface. You can see I'm not shading it, I'm just literally just going around randomly in sort of circles. And then it's just a case of just basically continue on round the body. So what I'm doing now is I've just taken the blender and I'm now going to just smooth out the tone that I put down with the 2B pencil. I'm just very lightly working over the edge of the fur and then just a little bit heavier when I move out into the background. So what I'm going to do now is start to work on the whiskers that are around the head and just underneath the chin just here. And to start with I'm going to use the dart and I'm going to just engrave it in and then same again 2B pencil and then just the blender lightly just to just to blend the tone out just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just using the putty rubber just to get rid of a little bit of the tone just around the top of the head. And now I just switch into the blender. Now what this will also do is it will soften the look of the whiskers which are a little bit too, too hard at the moment. They stand out just a little bit too much. So just by using the blender, it just knocks them back just a little bit. So I now continue the same process working under the chin. Now these techniques that we've been doing apply to drawing a, a subject with fur and obviously the eye and stuff like that. So you know you can apply this to, to a picture that you're working on. Uh, alternatively, if you do want this photograph of the meerkat, uh, you can simply just uh, contact me via the website details in the description below. So I now just start to just work around the neck just a little bit, just to few more little spiky strokes out to the edge just a bit of putty rubber
So now what I'm just going to do here is I'm just going to use the putty rubber and just brush it lightly into the background just in the odd place just to just exaggerate the fur just a little bit more so I've just rolled a point and just flick out in the odd place just a little bit just to give a little bit more of a clumped look to the fur on the edge in some places so I'm just using the blender now just to darken this side just a little bit just to brush some tone in and just make the the hairs Look a little bit more subtle on this side. Now just a bit of 9B. And then just finish that with the 2. Just a little bit of putty rubber in a couple of places again just to add a little bit more shape so I'm literally just working between the 2b 9b putty rubber and sometimes the blender just to just finalize the, the picture Now with the 4H I'm just going to just put a couple of darker whiskers in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now to finish off is literally just use uh, this is decorating tape. It's not masking tape. It's decorating tape. It's a low attack. Uh, I'd always avoid using masking tape. And even with this low tack stuff, I only put it on for the minimum amount of time it's needed. I'd never leave it overnight. And it's just on there just to basically give a nice hard edge. We've engraved our line around the picture. And this will just stop us as we work over it just stop us from getting any excess tone on the outer edge okay so just lightly with the pencil just a little bit of tone in on the edge Again, just using circles just to apply the tone. Now the blender just to finish off. Now I'm just using a bit of cotton wool just to even it out just a little bit more. Now to remove this tape, hold it like that and then just literally just pull it back gently. 
Now, if you wonder why I'm just using a little bit of tape, that's because there's not actually a lot left on the roll, so I'm just making do with what I got. So that's it. Now the picture is finished and uh, well done for sticking with it and uh, see how you get on. Remember, practice is the key thing, particularly with the texture. It's not something you can just do straight away. Take your time to learn it. Practice it on pieces of scrap paper until you're really confident with it. Now, again, I, hopefully you've enjoyed this, found it useful. And uh, if you have and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe as it really does help the channel out and hopefully see you in the next video.